I just want to give an idea of why they need this credit card form. You could use a transfer form to do a similar kind of thing, but let's just, just so we can examine kind of the issues here of why they might be using these other different forms to get an understanding of it. If I was to go to this second one, so this one 309 is here, let's let's imagine that I said, well, I'm, I just wanna categorize it as an expense type of form. And then I'm just gonna say that it's paying off the credit card. I won't even put the vendor here. I'll just say the category is gonna be the credit card. So now it's gonna be an expense form, which is the form that decreases the checking account. And I'm just gonna assign the other side to the credit card. That would be the most natural thing that you would probably think to do, right? If you didn't, if you were just gonna pick a form and you didn't know about this other form that you could use, right? So I could say, okay, let's do that. And then I could uh, add it. And so now if I go, if I go to the credit card side, it may still be able to pair that, but now it's saying it's been matched. So it matched this one. So that looks good. So I could still match it on the other side, which won't record anything new because I already recorded on the checking account side. This will just match it and say, okay, yeah, it'll tie out helping us with the credit card reconciliation. So I'm just going to match it. That doesn't do anything new, just shows both sides. And then if I go up, the problem with that, and it's not a big problem, it's just, you know, I'll just show you what the difference is. On the checking account, it looks kind of normal because it's an expense form uh, that's paying down the credit card. So it's gonna be an expense type of form. The other side's going to a credit card. Where did, where is it? Here it is. So there, so there it is. So the credit card. And so you can see over here, it's just a normal expense form. So if I go into it, it's an expense form, boom. But that looks normal kind of because it's decreasing the checking account versus the the credit card form if i go into it it looks like this right it's a payment for the pay down the credit card so if i go into the other side though it looks a little bit funny because if i go into the credit card side of things then now i've got i've got the expense forms usually increase in the liability but then i got another credit card an expense form that's decreasing the liability. And that's where it gets kind of funny with these inter uh, bank feed to bank feed type of transactions. Not a big deal. The transaction's the same. The two accounts are affected. It's not, gonna, it's not really hurting anything, but that's the issue. It doesn't look quite right in terms of the transaction type form that's being used. You might want to differentiate that to show the payments uh, so I can sort this. If I wanted to sort this by, by expenses, by the things that increase the liability, I'd like to sort by expense form. And if I want to sort by the payments that are made, then I'd like to have something other than an expense form so that I can see the other side of the transaction.